Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tech Nerd and Tech Channel. And in this video, I'm proud to announce the iOS 8.1.1 jailbreak, which was just released by the Taiji team in the early hours of the morning. And you may recognize the, the name Taiji from the uh, controversial jailbreak that was released last year. Um, well, not last year, a few months ago. Um, and it's pretty interesting. Uh, it's definitely one of the most easiest jailbreaks that are out there. And I can confirm for you that it does work. So I will show you to do it, but there are a few things that you need to consider beforehand. Um, so first thing is device compatibility. So according to Taiji's website, the jailbreak is compatible with iOS 8.0 to iOS 8.1.1 on these following devices. The iPod Touch 5th generation, the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 5, the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5C, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, iPad 4, iPad Mini, iPad Mini 2, iPad Mini 3, iPad, iPad Air, and the iPad Air 2. So if you don't see your um, device on there, don't worry. Uh, it will probably be updated very soon to support uh, your device. Um, so preparing for your jailbreak, you should always back up your device. Um, but in case something goes wrong, uh, you can restore from your backup and keep all your data. Um, it also, the, the Taiji uh, team also asks that users disable their lock screen passcodes and the Find My iPhone pe feature as it can interfere with the jailbreaking process. So let's get right to it and I will show you how to do it. Also, a big thing is that this is only compatible with Windows currently, but very soon I'm sure the Mac version will come out. Alright, let's get to it. So step one is to go to the developer's website, www.taiji.com. Um, this is where the, the jailbreak tool can be downloaded. And it's a very simple uh, website to navigate. You've got their icon, and then you've got the big download button right there. And you can't miss it, it's the big blue one. And it's the one that says version 1.0.1 .1 and 45.9 megabytes. And depending on your internet speeds, it will download pretty fast. Um, I, I have a really good internet where I am. Uh, but it's really slow currently because um, probably so many people are downloading it. Uh, it's taken like maybe 15 minutes, but I'm sure if you're watching this video a couple weeks from now, it'll be much quicker. So once you have it downloaded, you want to extract it to your uh, Windows desktop. As you can see, I downloaded the jailbreak tool, and what you want to do is right click and then extract all, and you want to extract to your desktop. So, browse, desktop, and then OK. And then extract. And let me just X this out. And what you'll see is this file right here. Oops, there we go. There's the icon. It's an .exe file, so you can tell this only works on Windows. And what you want to do is double click the .exe file and you just want to click more info and then run anyway and there you go this is the uh, GUI of the program that's very simple looking and I will show you to do it so as you can see it says connect your device so let me just get my iPod touch with generation and then we can jailbreak it so as you can see my iPod is downloading the software update and once this is finished we'll be able to jailbreak but this little clip will also show you that it's, the, it's important to uh, have a fresh restore of your iPod um, or whatever device you're jailbreaking because if not, uh, the jailbreak could go drastically wrong, but uh, it shouldn't matter if you have a backup of your device. So I'll see you when uh, my iPod is done updating. So my iPod did just update to iOS 8.1.1 um, and I've noticed a few things about the uh, Taiji jailbreak application that I'll tell you in a few minutes. But let me just uh, show you that I am on iOS 8.1.1. So just go into Settings, General, About, and you can see iOS 8.1.1 right there under Version. And you also want to make sure that your passcode is turned off. You can do this by going into Settings, scrolling down, Passcode, and then turning it off. And you also this is what I made a mistake on before. You want to go into iCloud and also turn off um, uh, Find My iPhone. 
And what's great about uh, the Tai Chi program is that it tells you when Find My iPhone is turned on, so it won't jailbreak unless you turn it off. And so once you have all that, you want to click on the program that we extracted earlier. And you can see that it's detecting my device. And there you go. So this is my iPod Touch. You want to unclick, uncheck this second box. Um, just X out all the X out this box right here. Yeah, X it out. All right. So once you do that, you want to click this big blue button right here. That's the jailbreak button. And then you can see the percentage. Done. Uh, it takes just a second, and it's really quick. And you can see my device right here. So I'm not going to edit anything out just to make sure you guys see what's going on. Um, you just want to make sure that your device is supported by the jailbreak before you jailbreak because that could result in your uh, device being bricked and that's not good. And again you want to back up your device and you want to turn off Find My iPhone and turn off your passcode. Alright, almost done. It's going to respring my device and then I will have a fully jailbroken device. and you can see that it's currently respringing my device <clears throat> alright great I'm jailbroken um, that's really all it takes um, you just you can X out this uh, tab if you want um, but here it is uh, just give it a second to uh, respring and or reboot and then you'll be done And you can see uh, my iPod is coming back online because the uh, jailbreak program detected my iPod again. So let me just X out this and this. So my iPod just turned back on. Just gonna unlock and scroll over. And you can see City right there. So once you open it up, you can see uh, that's just gonna prepare my file system. And then I'm gonna have to respring. And then there you go. That's it. That's all I had to do. Um, so. That's really it for the program, guys. Um, very simple, very easy, very quick. So if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Also, thank you for watching. Uh, bye.